Hey guys, Tom here with CellPhoneTrek.com and today we have the review of the LG Optimus U. It's part of their Optimus brand. You may have seen our reviews of the Optimus T, Optimus S. Um, they're very, very similar phones. Um, user interface is very little bit, which is mostly what we'll cover in this. We'll also cover some of the hardware. Uh, very inexpensive phone, $80. Um, and then you send in that $80 mail-in rebate and the phone is free with brand new two-year contract. If you're already an existing US Cellular customer, uh, you pay the $80 and you get the $80 mail-in rebate. You send that in and the phone is free with no contract extension at all. So uh, it's part of their uh, belief program. Check it out, US Cellular backslash belief program. Um, so let's get to the review. Really, really enjoy this phone. I apologize for my voice, I am quite ill. Um, but I decided to get this done and get it to you guys. So let's jump into it. So here we go, we have the US Cellular uh, Optimus U. Uh, I'll leave some of the stickers on here just to kind of keep it nice looking. Um, as you can tell, we have a 3.2 inch uh, capacitive touchscreen. That means it uh, reacts to not pressure, but the actual uh, electrical field inside my uh, finger um, that my body produces. If I use something like this screw, it's not gonna work. Um, we have the four physical home keys down here. We have uh, Google search, back, home, and menu key. On the right hand side, we have the volume rocker bar. We have dedicated camera key and voice uh, command key. A 3.2 megapixel camera, but with no flash, no LED flash. That's a little disappointing. I'd like to see flash, but again, it keeps the price of the phone down uh, with less extras on here. Uh, during the day, it takes very good photos and um, it even has a night mode. It picks up uh, all the little bit of light that's around you. It does take very nice shots. Uh, port for your speaker uh, here when you're on speakerphone. 3.5 millimeter headset jack, your power key. On the left hand side, your micro SD card slot. Underneath, you put your fingernail in here, pull this back. We have our 1500 mAh battery, uh, gives it extended long talk time. Uh, through our um, trials, we've, oops, pushing buttons here. Through our trials, we've gone ahead and re, uh, gotten uh, full day's usage out of this thing talking, texting, playing games. Throughout the, uh, throughout the time, we've got a good eight, nine hours, um, you know, setting it down, coming back to it, playing a game, calling, etc. Got a good eight to nine hours of actual use out of the phone. If you used it constantly, if you were playing um, a game, for instance, over and over and over and over and over again, you would go ahead and um, only get about five hours worth of use out of the device. Um, but still, again, very, very good. We have five home screens, as you can tell. YouTube, we have Facebook and Twitter. All of this stuff comes pre-downloaded. Um, again, we're even running a live background. We have a uh, 600 megahertz processor running in the back. It's an Android 2.2 device. Go here into the application, see what's pre-downloaded. Uh, we have browser, camera, City ID, car home. There we go. Messaging, music, Android Market, My Contacts, Settings, Talk, uh, Your Navigator, which is uh, US Cellular's navigation software. Uh, Think Free Office is uh, pretty nice on here. You can go ahead and create and edit uh, Office documents on the go. So it's always really, really nice. And our YouTube client. Let's go home. We're gonna go ahead and show you the camera here first. We have this nice dedicated camera key, so we can go ahead, wait for it to autofocus. Can't really autofocus here. There we go. Doesn't autofocus well on up close things. Now you can go ahead, set as, rename, or share. With share, you can go ahead, send it Bluetooth, email, uh, Facebook for LG, messaging Picasa, or Twitter. So a lot of nice sending options. It's a 3G powered phone uh, using Evdu Rev A high speed data network. It is a CDMA uh, carrier. If you do not know who US Cellular is, they are a CDMA carrier. So you can also take pictures tapping here. 
it will autofocus. It couldn't autofocus because we're too close up. And we can trash it. Go in here, all your different settings. Your digital zoom. Brightness. Auto, portrait, landscape, sports. There's that night mode I was talking about. Sunset. Uh, macro for up close things. So he does a little better. It's hard to tell, but it does do a little better when you can change things around. So again, a very nice camera. We'll move off the camera here. We'll move on to different things. Go in here. We'll take a look at the browser. It takes you to uscellularmobile.com. We'll go in here. Do a search for something like cell phone trick. There we go. We only have about one bar in here. Go ahead and edit that out. Now with Android 2.2, the site is pulling up. Um, Software-wise, it is supposed to be able to handle uh, Flash. Uh, currently, the browser with the phone's restrictions, it does not handle Flash, um, which is a little disappointing, but at least it knows that Flash is supposed to be there. It just won't play it. Now, you can play Flash things such as YouTube using the YouTube client or downloading third-party applications from the Android market to play Flash uh, products. But as you can tell, very nice. You can double tap to zoom in and zoom out. You can also do pinch to zoom. So again, there's uh, beautiful Brandy uh, with her video news, keeping you guys up to date all the time. Check those out. So double tap it again, and there you go. So again, browser is very nice. We'll show you. Uh, go in here. We'll show you the YouTube client. Again, I apologize for my voice here, and I'm just not feeling very well. But I had to get this done for you guys. Um, we'll go ahead and do a search for. I'll go ahead and demonstrate to you the voice quality search. To agree. Cell phone trek. Yeah, it always picks up track. It doesn't understand trek. So we'll go ahead and see if it pulled up anything close to us, and it didn't. We'll try that again. Here we go. And you can watch in high quality here just by tapping the high quality button. Again, we don't have the uh, best signal strength currently, so it might take a while to use. Uh, the device does have Wi Fi. So here we go. The, the device does have Wi Fi, B, G, and N signals. It does have. Uh, Here we go. Again, very loud. Go ahead and mute her here. Uh, you can do, like I said, does have Wi-Fi, uh, B, G, and N signals. You can do uh, hotspot tethering. You can tether up to five devices to this, so that's awesome. Also, on top of that, you can. Um, Also on top of that, 
you can go ahead and upload YouTube videos as well using your camera. I forgot to demonstrate that to you. We'll go ahead and delete that. Okay. Switch to video camera mode. It does do video camera mode. We are recording. We'll do a five second video. And here we go. Let's stop that. And you can share it. Email, Gmail, messaging, and YouTube. There you go. Pretty simple, very easy. Overall, with Wi-Fi, a nice big bright screen, good colors, uh, decent camera, you know, having Android 2.2 for the actual software, you know, sharing your applications, things of that nature, it's all great. Um, you know, no flash using the browser, but just due to the phone's limitation, it's not that bad. Um, we'll go ahead and we can live with it. Overall, I have to say for a free phone, US cellular, it's a really, really great device. If you're looking to switch, definitely check out um, one of the Optimus brands, also known as the Apex and the Vortex for at and and Verizon respectively. So check those out as well. Again, I'm Tom with CellPhoneTrack.com. Check out our full written review of the LG Optimus U on CellPhoneTrack.com. We're also on Facebook and Twitter. Check us out there. Uh, like us on Facebook for a chance to win free stuff and follow us on Twitter to keep up with all the latest tweets um, that we have. So it's just that simple. So again, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have yourself a great day.